Hey, Luke here with catsandcarp.com, and I'm with my friend Mike, and we are catching gar. And not only that, Mike here is doing a rod giveaway. So stay tuned at the end of the video. We're going to show you guys how you can win a rod from Mike here. That's right. Well, I'm here with Mike Chavez, and we are going to go fishing for gar. Now, he asked me to hold this rope. So uh, I've got one job, I better do it well, because apparently it's attached to the boat. All right, Tommy, go ahead, get on in the boat. <laughs> this is faster than our uh, pontoon boat, isn't it, Tom? Well, we just pulled into this creek and it is just crawling with fish. You can just see just fish breaking the surface like crazy all out in here. Well, Mike's all rigged up and he's got himself one of these rope jigs where he's got frayed rope on a jig head and he's just gonna start casting into these bad boys and we're gonna see, look at this, yeah. We got some steel leader, a weighted jig head and some rope and we're gonna see See what happens here. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, look at this. There are fish jumping everywhere. Let's see. We're yeah, gonna have at it. I mean, I'm gonna. I want to do a, a sampling. A That's fine. That's... Let's uh, do a little sample. See what's out there. All right. There you go. <laughs> gar. <laughs> hey, Tom. You want to see a gar? It's gargantic. <laughs> <laughs> wow! It has a pointy nose. Yeah. I never seen a guy like that before. Or before. Whoa, whoa, whoa! In the water. Good release. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> so we know they're in here. Oh, they're in here. There are tons of them. That's actually a really great trick. If you ever see a lot of stuff on your fish finder and you're not quite sure what it is, throw your cast net. <laughs> Find out. Now, uh, Mike, I hate to break this to you, but uh, I'm beating you, man. I got one in the boat. Yeah, one zip. One zip. <laughs> <I> cheated. <laughs> yes, yes. This is why you don't do fishing games with lawyers, man. They are they <laughs> <laughs> dirty lawyers. I'm going to go throw a big headpiece right there. Okay, so got something like that. Gooey and gross and tangly. It looks like I cut off a doll head and <laughs> stabbed like a dead fish on the end. Go on! Oh. Did your bobber go under? Yeah, but a second is my bobber went under and then it popped back up. It did? Yeah. It does look like a doll head. <laughs> <laughs> you got it, Dad! Well, guys, I am doing something wrong because there are gar everywhere. I mean, you couldn't ask for it to be thicker. They're jumping all over the boat, not a single bite. You know, when you see fish that thick and you aren't hitting something, you're doing something wrong. So I'm not going to, I'm going to throw this jig a little bit. I'm going to try it different, different ways, you know, bouncing it, uh, fast retrieves, you know, go deep, go shallow. I'm going to try different things. And if I don't get a bite here in the next five minutes, uh, then I am changing something. Not sure what that is, but we're changing something. I can't believe they haven't hit Tommy's. You know, I thought they would, we'd have a bad hookup ratio, but we'd get lots of hits. And that hasn't, I haven't seen anything. I haven't seen that bobber twitch. There he is, there he is. Oh yeah, there we go. Man, that stump got away, man. I mean, that gar got away. <laughs> but you said it was slow, you were doing a slow retrieve. A slow, steady retrieve. Ah. Just came in my lucky tackle box. Ooh, I day. got one! You got one? Yeah. one. There you go, bud. Oh, he got off. Oh, Tom no. Tommy, that was amazing. You did that all by yourself. <laughs> yeah. I can't pull my foot, I must be able to spot again. 
I was just about to give up on this uh, this lure here, and I'm reeling up to the boat, and a big old freaking gar follows it right up to the boat like you do when you're musky fishing. Right, right. Should have figure eight. Yeah, I should have done the figure eight. <laughs> Instead, I just went, oh, man, where's my camera? <laughs> okay, so I'm obviously doing something wrong. There's fish everywhere, so many that we can feel them bumping our lines. I mean, they're just everywhere, and we've gotten a few hits. We've had one chase it, uh, Mike's had one on, Tommy's got a good, uh, had one on. But this isn't what should be happening. If we were throwing the baits the way they wanted it, what they wanted, we'd be getting fish every other cast. And it's not happening, so something's up. Look at the size of some of the marks here on the, on the down imaging sonar, it's, that's massive. There's like a Soviet sub down there. All right, so I had, I had, uh, I got a hit, but it did not last. They should get their teeth tangled up in that rope. Yeah, right? but I wonder if I'm horsing them too much. You know, I set the hook, but you know, I'm kind of thinking about it, but. We might not want to set the hook. Yeah, oh, yo, oh, look at that, got one right there. Come on. I got one? Oh. Did he come off? Yeah, I think he came off. Oh, man. I think what I might do is put a trailer on it, get Trailer. Yeah, put two J hooks and, and a trailer and then have the rope. Oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Come on. Oh, now. he feels oh. like he's on there. Oh, ah. oh, he broke the surface I see him. too. I seen it. I seen it. Uh oh. Oh, there's some big boys rolling in there. They're just, it's it's like watching a hailstorm. They're just everywhere. I mean, just the water's splashing constantly. Tommy, you got a fish. You got a fish. Him. Will Tommy have success when we can't? Come on, Tommy. Oh, I think he popped off there. Oh, no. oh he's tangled up and he's got him in the thing and everything. Oh, man. I got it. I got it. Oh, yeah, I'm holding. Like All right. Look at that. Oh, that counts. He touched the boat. He, he touched, touched the, boat. the boat. He touched the boat. He counts. That is good. That is Mr. Right. Chavez demonstrating the proper catch and release technique. That's how you do it, y'all. Mi minimum trauma to the fish. Way to go. Way to go. Yeah, he was tangled up in there. He was properly just tangled. That's how it's supposed to be. Part of me is wondering if I need to lo lessen my drag a lot because it seems like this. Oh. <laughs> How in the world? That, that Mike's GoPro just popped off. It's mounting, and you see that man is like a jungle panther when his GoPro starts sliding into the water. No, sir. <laughs> he was agile as a ninja. Yes. <laughs> Go get him. Go get him. Oh, man. Oh, <laughs> oh, these guys, these are heartbreakers. Dang, you ain't never lied. Whoa. These are heartbreakers. Ah. Well, one, one lesson me and Mike have learned is just because something's trashy doesn't mean it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you may, you may call a gar a trash fish, but that doesn't mean it's easy to catch. I want to do it. No, no, hold on, hold on. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> I mean, that was right at the boat. Get him. Get him. Come on, baby. Oh, look, he is. He is all right in the teeth. There we go. Woohoo! Yeehaw. Now there I see go. how I was going to do this. I do this with that. It ain't too bad. making a lot more sense I mean look at the size of it. that's a pretty decent size one and it's so such a narrow mouth I'm using way too big of J hooks if I get him to open that mouth up let's see, Moment, yeah. Yeah, see if you can get that oh, 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 I'm almost, almost, almost almost look at that beautiful beautiful all right man all right you ready yeah. just like it just like a torpedo Nice. Off like a torpedo. That was a, an average size gar from what I'm seeing jumping around here. Yeah. And his mouth is only that wide. Now I'm using a six aught hook and a piece of bait this big. He can't even swallow that. I really need like a number two hook, a J hook, instead of like a, I'm using like a six, six, six aught. I'm not even in the, the same ballpark as reality. So I'm gonna go rummage around my bag, see if I can find some smaller gear and uh, 
I'm almost gonna go reevaluate my little rope, my rope lures, and we're gonna see what we can do, okay? Oh, that's nice. There he goes. Yeah, we'll go, we'll go. Ooh, nice. Hey, we need the net. net. Tommy, you got the net? Oh. <laughs> there, there we go. go. I mean, this is your third one. Because that first one counts. That first one counts. The first... Look. Yeah, he's tangled up properly. He is. Yeah. Look at those choppers. Just put your finger in there, lip them. <laughs> there we go. Number two. Right. PB. On. That's your PB? Yeah, I think that is beauty. Stay on the hat. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, man. Yeah. All right. All right, ready submarine him. Yeah, they don't ah. seem like delicate fish. It seems like they handle the handle being hooked and released pretty darn well. All right, so let me show you the lure that uh, Mike made here. It's uh, a piece of nylon rope that's lashed onto the shank of a weighted jig head and then you just fray the crap out of the rope so it makes a tangled mess. And once those <laughs> guard get their teeth in it, they just wrap up and it's it does it pretty well. I mean, we it seems like we lose slightly more than half of them. But uh, it catches them. Well, here's one that I haven't unfrayed yet. I'm getting ready to you just un, just take the fray, just unfray it, and then we'll cast it out and see what we can do with it. Maybe you experimented with the hippie lifestyle in college. You'll be familiar with this technique, the same way you make nasty dreadlocks. Tommy, yeah. you want a snack? Yeah. This is Check this out. This is called a goo goo cluster. It's like an almond joy and a moon pie had a love affair, and this was their love child. Hmm. Touch his fish finder, buddy. Here we go. All right, here we go. Look at that. Here I am, Mike's cameraman. Snag, <laughs> <laughs> right in the tip of the nose. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> that's what you call skill, brother. <laughs> oh, that's what you call net skill. That is that is excellent. Look at that. That is a beautiful long nose. Is this a lo it's yeah, a long that's nose. Long nose gar. Long nose gar. Awesome. Looking blue, so I keep catching. Oh, oh. There you go. There we go. Oh, oh, he jumped out of the water. <laughs> there we go. Woo! Right. Um, I'm okay. I'm okay. See, I was trying to hold him by the snap, but that doesn't work as any any better than holding him by the body. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I can't find my other glove here. Oh, look at that! Ah! <laughs> you are bleeding. Yeah, they got some teeth. They do have a funny smell to them, don't they? Don't they? What does that smell like? I don't know. It's weird. It, it smells, reminds me of something of mechanic, of like like diesel fuel or and kitty litter or something like that. It's it's I don't know. Maybe it's, maybe it's the gloves. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. Oh no! Oh, oh, no! no. <laughs> ah, he opened his mouth. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Ah, ah. Ah. All right. Let's. Bye -bye. Ah. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. <laughs> Yeah, gloves. I highly recommend the gloves. Bob. Yeah, look at that. I mean, he put a series, he put a couple holes in the tip of my finger. All right, so I told you guys earlier that Mike was going to be doing a rod giveaway. Uh, so Mike, why don't you tell them a little bit what you're doing? All right. Got a nice ugly stick GX2, medium heavy, seven foot long, combo, Shakespeare reel. Y'all, all you got to do is come over to my channel like this video, subscribe, and share my video. Uh, leave a comment. I love comments. I try to answer all the comments. When will you announce the winner? Uh, oh, ne next Sunday. Today's the th 14th, mm -hmm. so next Sunday we'll announce the winner. All right, I'll put a link in the description of my video so you guys know which video to go check out for Mike's. I appreciate it. Thank you, Luke. Hey guys, we had an absolute ball catching these gar. They were a lot more challenging than I thought. Mike put us on a ton of fish. I mean, I have seen thousands of gar today. And they are awesome. They fight hard. They jump out of the water like a tarpon. They're, they're absolutely a kick in the pants to catch. So if you're fortunate enough to live in an area with a lot of gar, 
try targeting them sometime. I think you'll find it a lot more fun and a lot more challenging than you think. Well, thanks for watching. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Fishing with Mike Chavez and the Catfish and Carp YouTube channel. We put out new videos all the time, so don't forget to... Quick subscribe! Mail it! Yeah, that's right. Oh, <laughs>